Good evening. Good evening. God bless you all. Amen. I want to talk about how to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And how you can, you know, serve God with the power of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit will help you in your relationship with God. Because anytime time you pray, you, you can experience His love and joy and peace and power. And also when you pray for people, they, they will experience uh, the, the peace and love and joy of the Lord. And then you can bring people to Christ to believe in Jesus. And also bring people to love God more. And serve God. Now the kingdom of God, you know, uh, we need, of course we want more people to be saved. And also in the kingdom of God, we want more people to serve God. That our lives are changed by God. Because without devoted Christians, not much can be done. You know, if you have 1,000 lazy Christians, who just go to church and do nothing else for God, the influence is much smaller than a Christian who is devoted and carry the power of God. And in the, in the church, there are many more people who just want to go to church and just be helped. I hope you have the heart, yes, Lord, I want to be used by you. That I can help other Christians to be to, to love the Lord more. That I can raise up soldiers for the kingdom of God. To have great influence on the world. I hope you have this heart. Do you want to be able to do that? Yes. But let me tell you, it does take, you know, you need to pay a price to, in order to have, to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Last night, I prayed for the people who are here. And some of them experience great power. And joy and motivation. But let me tell you that experience is only passive. That means you receive it. That someone lay hand on you and then you experience the Holy Spirit. It doesn't mean you are filled with the Holy Spirit. It just means you receive the anointing from someone. And if you don't pay the price, you won't be able to keep the strong presence of God. And that's why in order to be filled with the Holy Spirit and carry the power of God to pray for people, we need to see that God is so wonderful. He is full of love. 
nuko ugomba kumenya neza ko imana ari imana ari igitangaza kandi imana yuzuye urukundo God is the best that can happen to us kandi niba hari ikintu kiza cyane gishora kutubaho he is full of power nuko iyo mana yacu yuzuye imbaraga everything is possible with him kandi na kintu cyananira imana mu bibaho byose and he will bless all those who love him kandi ni imana izahabura umuntu wese umugisha uyikunda for high as the heavens nuko nuko ijuru gitaru isi high as the heaven is above the earth nuko isi ijuru gitaru isi so great it is love to those who fear him ninako urukundo rwayo rungana cyane cyane kuba yuba kuba yitinya for people who love the lord kubantu bakunda imana Really appreciate God. Bishimira imana. Really like God. Bakunda imana. Really honor and obey God. Bumvira imana bakubaha imana. The heart is wide open. Yewe bahora amaso yava yabumbuye. And then the Holy Spirit can come easily. Imitima yabo bifungwe muka wera kinjira muri bo buryo bworoshye. And fill him with the power of the Holy Spirit. Uwo muka buzuza imbaraga zawo z'umuka. God is gracious to give us the Holy Spirit. Imana ni nyabuntu yishimira kuduhera uwo mwuko ubuntu. Now, but I, I, I want to tell you that sometimes I'm disappointed when I pray for people. Yere rimwe na rimwe ari gensengera abantu nabasengera ibyo nabasengera nkona nibikoze. I told them please concentrate in the prayer to keep the anointing upon you now. Aho sanga mbahenda hendera ngukomeza bagasenga mukomeze musenge kugira ngo umwuka wera abone umwanya. The anointing is upon you now when you experience the Holy Spirit. Gusigwa biba bikuriho imbaraga z'umwuka wera zigukoreramo. But the Holy Spirit will not stay in a heart that doesn't hunger for God. Na umwuka wera azaguma mu mutima udafite inzara n'inyota yo gushaka imana. So I told them so I told them you know when a someone who is spirit filled and pray for you you experience the holy spirit the holy spirit comes upon you. Rero nyambira abantu niyo ngusengeye umwuka wera arakumanukira akaza akaba muri wowe akibera muri wowe bihe byose. Keep praying to keep the anointing kandi umwuka yakurimo yusabwa usabwa kurinda uwo mwuka uho rusenga usenga imana for as long as you can kandi ukukomeza usenga ugenda usenga and every day at least pray half an hour nibura buri munsi cyo usenga nibura nk'isaha to declare that god is loving us uvuga kuti imana ira imana iradukunda God is caring for us. Imana itwitayeho. And we love God totally. Dukunda Imana rwose byimazeyo. That to spend at least <coughs> half an hour. Nibura kumara nibura isaha. It's the minimum. Nibura ito ni kigereranyo. The best is that you can pray longer than that. Ariko ibyiza kuruta nuko wasenga birenza iyo saha. So I told the people that. Ndambira abantu ne. And then I pray for other people. And then I turn around. Na none ngayindukira. I just told the people keep praying. Nabwiye ni rwose mukomeze musenge. And what they did was after I prayed for them. Yo barangije yo ndangije kubasengera. They might look around. Hari giye bona bake baguzwa. They might talk. Bashora kuvuga. They might walk out. Bashora kusohoka. Let me ask you would you be able to keep the anointing like that? Reka mbabaze nama amavuta y'Imana cyangwa ko gusiga muzabirinda. You muzabirinda. You won't be able to keep the anointing if you just you know you, you don't put the effort. Reka ngubwire ntuzigera urinda ayo mavuta nudashyiramo umwete nudashyiramo imbaraga. They will really open our spirit. Kuko ucyusabwa no gufungura umutima wawe. Now let me tell you the gift of the Holy Spirit is a gift from God. Imana uhabwa n'umwuka wera ni impano ivuye ku Imana. God is very happy to pour the Holy Spirit upon us. Imana yishimira kudusuka umwuka wayo. But if the heart is not open, rero umutima uramutse udafunguwe, if the heart is lazy, rero umutse ufite ufite ubunebwe, then the Holy Spirit cannot come. Umwuka wera nabwo yakwinjiramo uri umunyabunebwe. Let me tell you when I experience the Holy Spirit. Reka nkubwire rero kugenda muri zo mbaraga z'umwuka wera. 
I learned that I have to really put time to pray to keep the anointing. Nize ko nzafata ngomba gufata igihe ngasenga cyane kugira ngo umwuka wera namavuta bingumeho. And then in the meeting after the evangelist lay hand on me ngo nyuma umuvuga butuma maze kunsengera kera I would keep praying for the rest of the meeting. Jere ona hora gansenga na wandi batashye genga komeza ngasenga. I would keep loving God. No nonga komeza ngakunda Imana. And concentrate in the prayer. No nonga komeza ngashishikarira gusenga. And also in the bus when I went home. No no na natangiye mu rugo. I kept praying all the way. Yewe ngagiye nasenga ni mu nzira inzira yose. And then when I went home I kept praying even though it was very late. And the next day I did the same. And when I experienced the joy of the Lord, in one of the meetings when I experienced his joy coming to me, hallelujah, joy. I want to keep the joy every day. So I keep, you know, loving God. And let the joy keep coming out. Oh, <laughs> and then when I took the bus home, there I kept the joy of the Lord by praying. Destiny. But in the bus I cannot be laughing. This is what I did. Dori byo nkora ndi muri bus. Jese ngenda seka rwose ariko bona nzunguza gatwe. I keep the joy of the Lord without the sound. Yeo umunezero w'Imana ukabundimo nka mwenyura rwose ijwi ridasoka. Because I saw that the gift of the Holy Spirit is really great. And I want to say that everything we enjoy in this life don't count forever. The money you have, you spend it and it's gone. But what you do for God with the power of the Holy Spirit will stay forever. Amen. The work of the Holy Spirit will bless other people and bless yourself. So I hope tonight when I pray for you, you really open your heart and like the Lord. And hunger for God. And then after I finish praying for you, you keep praying. Keep, keep loving God and believe that God is loving us. That it's not just, you know, uh, it's not just our effort. It's God's effort. He loves us very much. But we open our spirit to welcome him. Do you really hunger for God? Mm. Now, I'm going to ask one, two persons to come up now and I'll demonstrate again. And two persons that really hunger for God. Actually, you know, like some of those who experience the Holy Spirit very strong last night, it's good that you come out. That will help you to go to a higher level. That, you know, um, with a high level of the presence of God, 
Dero murugo ya gorugo ikirenga rwo mukubaho kwimana. And if you really love the Lord to keep the anointing. Niba ukunda imana kugira ngo ushore kurinda ayo mavuta. It's going to make a big change in your life. Ibyo bizaza n'impinduka ikomeye mu buzima bwawe. So is there anyone here who likes to who really hunger for God and say Lord I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit and I'm willing to pay the price Habaru umuntu urahanga ufite inzara n'inyota ushaka imana cyane ushaka imbaraga z'Imana akaba yiteguye no gutanga ikiguzi Anyone or two persons here Ah okay come Cyangwa abantu babiri Come out here come out Muze ngo muze hano Okay Nabwe babiri muze Come out whoever Whoever it is Oh, come, come here. Now we stand for more. We see we stand for more. Now I'm going to give you the Bible verses to support, you know, how you can be filled with the Holy Spirit. Come. Ndibuvahe umurongo wa Bibiliya cyangwa imirongo ya Bibiliya ishyigikira ukuntu washora kuzura imbaraga z'umwuka wera. Now pray with the spirit is very important. Gusengera mu mwuka ni nibyingenzi cyane. It's not just talking, it's not just praying loudly. Ntabwo ari ugusakuza cyane, usenga usakuza cyane. It's from the bottom of your heart that you really love God. And believed God is loving us. And really like the Lord. And you all stand up, please. Stand up, please. Everyone. Stand forward. The reason is, my part is I don't want you to hit the tripod. So close your eyes. Close your eyes, close your eyes, everyone. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Lord Jesus, bless these people here. Oh, change our spiritual life. Help us to hunger for you. Now, everyone look at me. Everyone open your eyes now. Don't just pray like this. It's the spirit. Oh, Lord Jesus. Whoa. From your heart to reach out to God. Oh, really open your heart. It's not just. It's, you don't have to cry out loudly. It's, it's in the spirit. It's in the heart that we really like God. They will really hunger for God. Close eyes, close eyes, close eyes. Close eyes, close eyes. Don't open your eyes. Okay, now, now also when you pray, when you open your heart, you feel the power moving, the power of the Holy Spirit moving your body. Watch me, watch me now. Now, now watch me. When I, open, when I open my heart and relax, and relax my body, the power of the Holy Spirit will push me. Now, in the Bible, we see John, he saw the glorified Jesus in Revelation 1.17. And then he fell to the ground. And also saw when he was chasing after the Christians on the way to Damascus. He saw the glorified Jesus and also he fell to the ground. With the strong presence of God, you feel the body swaying. And, and when you feel that, you open your heart more, the power will be stronger upon you. Oh. So you really like God from your heart. And it's like your whole spirit flies to God. Oh. Now close your eyes now. It's, so open your heart to God and love God. And, like God. and let your spirit like 
flying to God. Mese wemerera umutima wawe kuguru kusanga Imana. Jesus. Yes. 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 Someone come and stand behind her. Lord Jesus, come. Oh, yes, yes, come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Change your heart. Change your heart. Oh, relax, relax. Tell her to relax. Tell her to relax. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, do you want to say what happened to you just now? Do you want to say what happened to you? Oh. What did she say? She said she's feeling a change, some changes she's having. Uh, she's feeling God's love and God's peace. She's been not well, but now she's feeling good. Hallelujah. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, you want to share what you experienced just now? Rumba. Speak loudly. So that they can muri je nubagasa na harimo ijwi ryanyije kuramya imana uko yaririmbaga ko yaranyaga na wange nubagasa nje nuno as you were singing you were flowing together so in her there is a voice of worship in god mm -hmm. which was flowing in her life mm -hmm. heart do you feel like very light burdens go away ese urumva I felt there are some powers I'm given. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is, when we love the Lord more, we can experience the presence of God. And it can go stronger and stronger too. What I'm saying is, when I love the Lord, when I love the Lord, when I love the Lord, if you hunger for God, His presence will come to you. Hello, new fit iman is that any nyota? Kuba hokwa iman na visa kuzao. How many of you, while standing here, experience something? The peace, or 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 burdens go away, or the comfort over the body? Can you raise your hand? Anyone here? Nibura honga ho kaba umvise hari amahoro akujeho hari umunezero kujeho hari ibyishimo bikujeho waramburu koko nibuha anyone haruha okay so what what did you experience anga ho bitubwira ibyakubaye okay okay come here stand here nagara hano rwose Speak loudly, please. Yes, Jesus. 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 Yes,
ngumva ndarushaho kugira imbaraga cyane mu mutima wanje ngumva nda ndakomeye ngumva mfite imbaraga ngumva naterura n'ikintu gikomeye cyane kubera ubwiza bw'Imana mba numva muri ngewe hanyuma rero ubwo ngubwo nuko nguko nge mba mbyumva mu kubwanje mba numva rwose umunezero ari mwinshi muri ngewe mba numva ibintu byose nabihinduye mbese numve biri 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 imbere y'Imana muri ngewe nuko nguko mba numva mese so when you were speaking and not only you even when somebody here speaks the word of God when he hears the word of God he feels the power so he felt the power that the power that can carry a lot of tons of heavy things even now she's he, no he is feeling a lot of strengths the powers kind of because he was hearing the message how about the prayer in the prayer what did he experience something ese bari mu basenga mu isengesho hari baraga zigeze zikuzaho nzumvaka i was the failing the said power i was failing power now turn around turn around you know how he did open your heart to god which in good iman you see ma who who did it thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus yesu 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 hunger for God Iman give me that I need Oh hallelujah 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 we worship you hallelujah hallelujah lord jesus take away the burdens oh hallelujah oh yes yes hallelujah hallelujah Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Lord yes, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Yeah. Can you describe what you just experienced anything? Yes. Ba yo no kuba numva munezero muri ngewe nkumva nana turi kankarira. Umutima wanje. Is having is in fact overjoyed to the extent where of shedding tears. Okay. Now, blow out all your burdens with your mouth. <sighs> like that. No, no, go who ha if you could in Mary, to be who he should be a muka wow. Go, who got a who have this? You meet Kuru Yari Kuri. Rura Yiji Zai. Blow out with your mouth. You who ah, 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 Hallelujah. 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 Oh, cry out loudly. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Oh, Hallelujah. Did you experience something more just now? Hari kindi wonge kumva kikubayo. Hari zindi mbaraga umva zimo kugukoreramo. Umva munese ro muri nje. I'm for sure very happy, very much excited. Yeah, you experiencing the joy of the Lord more. Urumva munese ro imana ukurimo mu bwinshi. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. So I hope you all hunger for this presence of God. Okay. Nizera ko mwese mufite imana inzara n'inyota. Now you can go back to your seat. You can go back. You can go back. Yeah. Hallelujah.
Now, anyone really experience some joy just now? Anyone experience some joy just now? Anyone? You have experienced some joy just now? Is she experiencing something? Uh, is she experiencing joy? Yeah, so Can you ask her to come out? Can you ask her to come out? Ask her to come out. Ask her to come out. Is she experiencing the joy of the Lord? Yeah, I know, but then I want her to to feel with the joy of the Lord much stronger. What, what I'm showing you is how real God is. Come, take, take her hand and take her out here. Do not be afraid, do not be afraid. It's okay. Tell her in your language to understand. Tell her to come out. Do not be afraid. Don't cover your face. She's experiencing great joy. Ah, Jesus. No, don't cover your face. Don't cover your face. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't cover your face. Tell her. Take away the, take away the handkerchief. Take away the handkerchief. Oh, do not be afraid. Let the joy keep coming out. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Let the joy keep coming out. Oh, ah. Now, blow out from with your mouth. Tell her. <laughs> and think of Jesus. Think of Jesus. Oh. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> oh, and cry to Jesus. Yes, 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 Let it keep coming. Don't stop it. Hallelujah. Now, now you you try. Cry out from your with your heart. Hallelujah. Cry out like this. Hallelujah. 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 Cry out. Hallelujah. Okay. Now. Hallelujah. 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 Cry out to the Lord. And let the joy come out. Hallelujah. Cry out. Hallelujah. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Concentrate. Concentrate in the Lord. Think of Jesus. Concentrate in the Lord. Hallelujah. Cry again. Hallelujah. Let the joy keep coming. Oh, let the joy keep coming. Do you want to keep this joy every day? Oh, hallelujah. Everyone. Now, you, you also love the Lord. Can you describe this joy? Can you describe this joy? Speak loudly. Can you describe this joy? Oh. 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 Can you describe it? Is it like flowing out <laughs> continuously that it's hard to stop at this point? Say it out. Say it out. Oh. It's okay, relax and... <laughs> the joy is flowing out and she cannot stop it now. I, I'm saying this is the spirit of the joy of the Holy Spirit. And then if she keeps it every day, she'll be filled with the joy of the Lord every day. <laughs> now cry out with your heart. Hallelujah. Ah, Hallelujah. Ah, <laughs> now, is someone there also experiencing this joy? Ask them. 
It's a joy flowing out now. It's a joy of Asher. Is it like it's coming out continually? Asher, is it, is it true? If it's true, not her head. Not her head. Tell her not her head. Not her head. Now anyone else, is anyone else experiencing their joy? Come out now. Because the joy of the Lord has come to some people, it looks like. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Can you experience this joy? Come out. Can I help you to keep this strong and waiting? Hallelujah. Now face me. Turn. Face me. Hallelujah. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Think of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, close your eyes. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh. Is it good to keep the joy of the Lord? Is it good to keep the joy of the Lord? Because the joy of the Lord will help you every day. And in the future, every time you pray, if you keep it every day, <laughs> that every time you pray, the joy can come out. Now, but, but you look at me, I can laugh or not laugh. It doesn't mean I'm out of control. If I just let go, the joy and the power go through my whole body. <laughs> and it's over my legs too. My power, the power just go through my leg, my whole body. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but then, I can stop the laughing anytime. And keep the anointing on me. So tonight I'm very thankful that God has moved in her heart to show you that the joy of the Lord can come to you. Now this is a great gift. When you have this joy, <laughs> you fit even you mune zero. Let me tell you, I have prayed for many people. <laughs> Some people who are very sad can suddenly be filled with the joy of the Lord. I pray for some people they are very sad. And they suddenly start to laugh. Okay. Now I'm gonna briefly, you know, if you have a pen and paper, you can write this down. I hope you want to learn. Here I will tell you the Bible verses that talk about the works of the Holy Spirit. 
bivuga umurimo w'umwuka wera that the holy spirit can be experienced umwuka w'Imana yakugeze murabimenya urabyumva now of course the holy spirit will bring us repentance mu byukuri umwuka wera atuma twihana that is in john chapter 16 verse 8 that the Holy Spirit comes and He will convict us of our sin and of righteousness and of judgment. And also the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, that's Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 and 23. That, but also the Holy Spirit can be experienced in other ways. John 1427. Now I tell you this Bible verses are very important. Because when you pray for someone who are not a Christian and experience the peace of God or burdens go away or experience comfort or joy or healing and then you can tell them that God has come to you to bless you. Do you want God to continue to bless you? If the person is willing, then you can bring the person to believe in Jesus. And if that person is a Christian already, do you can tell them, now you experience this joy and love and peace and power. And if you pray a lot and dedicate your life to God, and then you can change the lives of many people by laying hands on them. Do you want to be used by God like that? So when you carry the power of the Holy Spirit, it's very useful for evangelism and for raising up the spiritual life of people. So we serve God with the word of God and also with the power of the Holy Spirit together. And that's what the Bible says. And these verses will tell you the works of the Holy Spirit. So please write it down so that you can use it. Okay. So if someone experienced peace and quietness, then you tell them John 14, 27. That Jesus said, my peace I give you. Oh yes, you have That Jesus and the Holy Spirit can give us peace. And then Matthew eleven twenty-eight. Matayo Chuminari Mamakunyanumunani. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I'll give you rest. What this verse says is that he can take away the burdens. Suddenly the person might feel very relaxed and no more burdens. Now these two are the most common experience of people. Peace and the burdens go away. And then Psalm 16 verses 8 to 9 that 
David said that he has set the Lord always before him. And then the result is, my heart is glad. And my tongue rejoice, rejoices, and my tongue rejoices. And my body will also rest secure. Not only the spirit is joyful, <coughs> but also the body is in comfort, is, is rest in rest in security, in security and in comfort. Oh. Let me tell you, when I pray, I feel comfort all over my body. I feel my whole body in comfort. My body very light. <laughs> and it's like floating. Now many people have shared that they feel like floating. Let me tell you, I have prayed for many people to bring them to Jesus. If you want more people to believe in Jesus, you spend more time praying every day. You carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And then when you pray for people, they can experience the work of the Holy Spirit. So I hope you hunger for that. Actually, praying is enjoyable. Let me tell you, when I'm praying, it's a heavenly enjoyment. Oh. I feel the feeling of heaven. Very light. Great comfort. So I enjoy praying to God. Amen. Amen. And that way you can keep praying for a long time. And also when you are doing your house chores, when you are cooking or, or washing dishes or sweeping the floor, you can be loving the Lord and enjoy His presence. And then your whole body will feel comfort and rest. Okay, and the Bible verse, Isaiah chapter 61, verses 1 to 3. Isaiah 61, 1 to 3. to be born Muri Isaiah, if you tell me wrong, Tanda to Nachimwe, Murongo 1 to 3. 1 to 3. There it says that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because the Lord has anointed me first to preach the good news to the poor and then send me to heal the brokenhearted. And to proclaim freedom for the captives. And to comfort all who mourn and then the oil gladness instead of mourning. Here it talks about the anointing of the Holy Spirit to first to preach the good news. And then also to have inner healing. Because many people are unhappy. 
Many people have burdens. And then when we pray for them, that the Holy Spirit can heal the broken hearted. That I've seen big strong men, when I pray for them, they just cry. And I've seen many people cry, even just now when she was filled with the joy, at the same time she was crying. You know, many people live in sadness and burdens. When they experience the Holy Spirit, it's like the greatest comfort to the hearts. Suddenly they feel very free. They feel comfort. They feel joyful. The whole spirit changed. Let me share with you one supernatural experience of mine. When I went to South Africa, there was a sister that, that told me after I went there. She told me that in her dream she saw me the day when I came. She saw me the day when I and in a dream, she was being chased by someone. And she was in great fear. And then she ran to a house and saw a Chinese child inside. She never had a dream to see Chinese. And then she saw the child, she was afraid, she, and then she asked the child to open the door for her to come in. And when she went in, she saw a group of Chinese praying. And then I appeared. And then I said to her, do you want me to pray for you? And the moment I touched her, she was filled with joy and love. And she started to laugh and woke up from the dream. So at the beginning in the, of the dream, she was in fear and running away. At the end of the dream, she was laughing. And she told me that she was sure that it was me who was in her dream before she knew me in person. She said, first, the face looked like you. And also, it was a group of Chinese praying, and you are Chinese. And she could experience the joy and the love and then when I pray for her in person, she also experiences the joy and the love. And then also I taught about the joy and the love of the Lord. Let me tell you, this is one of the ten times that some people saw me in a dream or vision before they saw me in person. So this is like a confirmation from God that he likes my life and my ministry. So God showed this woman, you know, my prayer in the dream. 
Rero Imana yerekanye ibyanjye byose mu isengesho no mu I want to say to you too. If you really love the Lord, you really want to serve the Lord, He will bless you and He will confirm your life and your ministry. <coughs> and He will provide for you so that you have what you need. If you really have the heart to Pray for people and have the heart to have a close relationship with God. Okay, now, so now, now we're going to finish now. What I'm telling you is that we can, we spend more time praying. We can keep the anointing of the Holy Spirit. For a spiritual life and for ministry. And then one day in heaven. God will show you a group of people. God will say to you, these people were brought to heaven by you. Or their lives were revived by you. If you love the Lord like that, do you think the Lord will bless you? I hope you hunger for the blessings of God. Let me tell you, I have blessings in every area in my life. Every area. Do you want these blessings? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now tonight I'm going to pray for you briefly. And then I hope you keep the anointing. Okay, God bless you all. Imani wa humuji shamuese. Hallelujah. Okay, now we close with the prayer first. You are free to go home. And then for those who would like to stay behind the prayer, I will pray for you. Ugurero, nje kuwase nje rargoose, usha kaguta atae, arika usha agusigara, turira rirahami. Now stand up please. Ero, nga umu aguruke. Dear Heavenly Father, you are full of love for us. You love us greatly. We need your love. We need your Holy Spirit. Please come to our lives and bless our life and change our life. We need you, Lord Jesus. Please forgive our sins. Wash us clean with the blood of Jesus. Help us to love you greatly. And believe that you really love us. We declare all the time. The Lord loves us. The Lord wants to bless us. The Lord wants to lift up our life. We thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We hunger for you, Lord. Please fill us with the Holy Spirit.